The next stretch we're going to perform is called the static rectus femoris stretch, the static thigh stretch. There's two ways to do this. You can do it with a chair or you can do it in kneeling. I'll show you both variations. The kneeling is a progression from the one standing. So if I put my left hand here, you want to make sure you're stable. So if you have a chair behind you, or if you do this in a staircase, the stairs are behind you. You're going to put your right foot in or left foot in. I'd recommend doing both legs. And from here, you want to feel a stretch into the front part of the thigh. Chest is nice and tall. You want to avoid bending forward. Eyes stay fixed and forward. You're going to take a breath in. Exhale and get deeper into the stretch. And how I get deeper into the stretch is I bend the front knee a little bit more. Now, you don't want to bend the knee by compromising bending forward at the hip. Stay up nice and tall. Hold this for 30 seconds or four breaths in, out, in, and out. Second variation I want you to do is in kneeling. Now, if you can't get into kneeling, don't bother doing this exercise, okay? But if you can and you have the mobility, let's have some fun. The knee's going to be on the floor, the foot is going to be either on a staircase or on a chair. Same posture here, chest up nice and tall. Try to avoid this position because you're just compromising the, the stretch. Get up nice and tall, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, and hold that for 30 seconds or, or four breaths nice and deep. If you want to progress it, you can raise your arm up. Again, with everything we do, we want no pain. You want to modify it. You want to regress to the one in standing if you have pain in kneeling. If you have pain even after doing the stretch, you know what to do. Phone your PT. Thank you very much.